discussion at the launch of the book the land is ours it was written by advocate timbek and Mugai toby and discussed at the steve biko center in ginsburg township in the eastern cape the book is an enthralling account of the first black lawyers and their battles to find a just liberal order for all people in south africa the eastern cape launch of the book called the land is ours it is a significant place on a very significant day in South African history, marking 24 years of post-apartheid rule. The impact of colonialism and the question of land dispositions at the crux of discussions. A Steve Bito Foundation initiative in partnership with the publishers of the book. My main criticism of the past 23 years has been that the question of land has been left largely towards the back burner of South African political discourse. And when we debate transformation, we usually debate about the transformation of the workforce, the changes in the boardrooms. But the fundamental structural inequalities remain intact. So it is an exciting moment that South Africa is at last grappling with the original sin. The land question being something that is a burning issue in South Africa, uh, having uh, advocate Ngai Tobi here to launch his book and have a discussion with our constituency would help sort of start or at least expand the dialogue a little further, give it a bit more grounding, a bit more depth. Ngai Tobi, however, believes that with political will, injustices of the past can be redressed without any major tensions or use of violence. There is no help in the government trying to forcefully remove people from land. What the government should be focusing on is the structural reasons that are driving people towards these uh, alleged acts of criminality. And the structural problem everybody knows is the problem of landlessness. So it seems to me that firstly the issue of landlessness is something that can be resolved within the strictures of the constitution. The author further argues that until the issue of land is addressed, the freedom we are celebrating today is incomplete. We are not even going to say ABC News, Ginsburg Township.